Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise on a 2020 Lexus RCF Coupe. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon if you want to be notified new videos. I really appreciate that thumbs up. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, here we can see that we have a white RFC. Ultra white is the name of the color with triple beam LED headlights. As you can see, it has the spindle grill. And 0 to 60 in this vehicle is 4.2 seconds. Definitely a race car. RC means radical car, by the way. We have triple beam LED headlights. You can see front is 255 35R19. And the rear tires are 275 35R19. So they're staggered wheels. Brimbro source ventilated disc brakes as well. Okay, and let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. You can notice a nice spoiler. The rooftop is different color. Has LED tail lights and quad exhaust as well too. Very nice in this color, by the way, too. So the super white definitely fits really well. And you know, you can see the tail lights a little bit tinted as well, too. Nice crease and lines overall as well. You can see that the tires, the rims look really beautiful in this vehicle. Um this one in particular is around uh, ninety thousand dollar. There's actually a track one that I have as well too. I will post that video if I get a lot of likes on this one. So do a lot of interest. And hey, let's look at this beast. Wow, this one is an amazing engine. V8 engine with 5.0 liter displacement. 472 horsepower. Amazing. Okay. This one has definitely a lot of power. If you want to do it fast, this is the vehicle to be in. Especially in the Lexus. Torque is 395 pound feet at 4,800. RPMs and compression ratio is 12.3 to 1 on this engine. So, really nice vehicle overall. Very powerful engine. Definitely a sports car. MPG 16 City, 24 highway, 19 combined. Of course, when you buy a sports car, you have the money to pay for the gas as well, too. But you get the power. So, that's the trade off. And look at the interior, has all the amenities like power windows, power locks. Very nice steering wheels, but the seats actually steal the show over here. You got these sports seats as well, too. So all the lines actually help with the comfort on this vehicle in particular. There is a back seat, and I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm not going to go in there to talk about the back seat. You could tour, you could. Take a look at a lot of different uh, features. You got the, the climate control system over here. You get to change the temperature by moving hand up and down on the horizontal bar. You got the radio, Art Leverson. You got also got the the launch mode, torque vectoring differential as well too on this vehicle. I like the the shifter, a little bit blue to it. Then you also have the touch screen, which is iffy for some people. Some people like it, some people don't. I'd rather have that than the little mouse thing that keeps on moving around. Alcantara. Cup holders, of course. And you also have some carbon fiber look. You see the, you also have the SOS Safety Connect from Lexus. And the lights actually are touch. So you tour the front passenger seat, you notice there's a power window and carbon fiber on the door. The seats are still the weight seats, very beautiful seats. It has the F emblem on the back of the headrest over there. And you notice these nice, very contour lines. Definitely great for comfort and not only for looks. You got, you can actually good view of the car overall. But definitely this car is built and designed more for sportiness and sports feel. Yes, it does have seats in the back, but the leg room is a little bit lacking in that area because this is a sports car. So you keep in mind. And also this one doesn't have lumbar support for the front passenger, by the way. But you have a you know pretty good view of the front still. It's very comfortable to sit in these seats. It hooks you in as well too. Also, it has a nice trunk as well, too. That's very really surprising. 
I didn't see any power trunk on this particular model. But very spacious trunk. Very surprised. I guess you could store some stuff in the back. Very nice trunk. It has a, you could put the cargo net and you actually could put a tray or something after that. I didn't check the spare tire, so I couldn't mention anything about that. 19 inch hand polished 20 spoke forge wheel. You could read more about the brakes and stuff like that over here. So it's different from the front to the back. High friction pads is the most notable thing I want to mention. Sticker price. This one's about $90,000. And I want to slow this up if you want to read all the options on this particular vehicle. There's a track one that I see next door. But I didn't do that video on that one, but that's like $10,000 more. That's in red. Hope this helps you out. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.